Hello, thank you for coming to my video. If you would like to help my channel grow, please like and subscribe, and please click on this little bell icon so you never miss a future video. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, recently, uh, my wife and I got to try out the Halo Fireteam Raven arcade game, a Halo arcade game, believe it or not, uh, over at Dave and & Buster's, and it was a lot of fun. We played through the whole game a couple of times. Uh, just kind of want to share my thoughts on it and show off some gameplay footage. So, one of the things I noticed immediately with the game was the color and the art style. You know, because the last game to really come out was Halo 5, which wasn't that well received. And I uh, wasn't really a fan of the art style, the sound effects. It, it, it didn't look traditional Halo enough to me. It kind of uh, looked like Halo slashed with, or crossed with like Tron. <laughs> you know, it was a little too glowy and everything. Um, you know, some of that kind of art has its place. You know, you kind of saw it in Halo 4, but uh, Halo 5 was just way overdone. But the Halo Arcade game, the color, the art style and everything, it's kind of a cross between Halo 3 and Halo 4. So it definitely has more of a classic Halo look. I say Halo 4 just because of the lighting and everything. But definitely definitely more Halo 3 than anything. Uh, maybe a little bit of Halo Reach because of like you know the textures with the characters and all that kind of stuff. But uh, it's a four-player arcade game. I mean, it uses, I think it uses like two 4K monitors. Uh like five missions you got to pick from, and you start at the beginning, and you just kind of work your way up. Uh, the story looks like it kind of parallels Halo 1, so it's basically like a, uh, a strike team. I think they're ODSTs, and uh, they kind of lend support to the Pillar of Autumn that crashed on Halo, and, you know, they don't survive the end of the game, of course, but, uh, <laughs> you know, because the rings blow up at the end, spoiler alert, Halo 1. But, uh... Uh, Master Chief makes a couple cameos, you know, he kind of cross paths with him a couple of times, and he's got that iconic classic Halo 1 look to him, so, uh, looks really cool, the, the music is very, uh, original Halo-ish, you know, Halo 2-ish, Halo 3-ish, a little bit Halo 1-ish, it doesn't have that Halo 4 weird, different kind of soundtrack to it, not the Halo 4 soundtrack was bad, but it didn't really fit, but the only issue I really had with, uh, the music in the arcade game was it's a little repetitive because the game's just all action so uh it doesn't really like uh like change up a little bit with like the mood because it's just like a one standard you know game it's it's basically like that rail shooter arcade shooter type games you'd see a lot of those in the past like uh house of the dead terminator revolution x uh, lethal enforcers amongst other games but it's definitely a lot of fun it's it's uh it's definitely just a fun halo game to play overall uh i i looked it up and there's no plans to for them to come out with a uh uh console port but yeah it may change it's not like in depth or anything like that. I mean, as the game progresses, you you uh, there's different weapons you pick up at key points. It's not like something you pick up like based on strategy, like uh, like lethal enforcers, for example. You you know you shoot something, you get get like a hidden gun, you get like a more powerful gun. It just kind kind of cycles based on the story, and there's really not that much of a difference with uh, each weapon. You know, it's like the plasma pistols. You're basically just shooting them. It's not like they're uh, discharging Kevin's shields where you can switch to pistol and shoot him in the head or anything like that. So it's not like an in-depth Halo game. It's very, very basic. Um, I mean, it's it's not even really a Halo game in terms of gameplay. It's just a real or an arcade style shooting game. So it's 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 pretty bland in that regards. But as far as just like a fun Halo experience, uh, like a new way to just enjoy Halo, it's it's a lot of fun. Um, I believe it's, it's still exclusive to Dave & Buster's. But uh, one of the cool things that both my wife and I did is you can actually 
log into your Xbox Live account on the game. You know, you pull up like a little link on your phone and you type in your Xbox Live username and password and you get like the little that little square barcode thing and then you hold it up to like a little camera that's next to the gun and then it logs in your Xbox Live, you know, instead of like the character's name up by your energy bar, it shows your Xbox Live name. So that's kind of cool. Um, overall, uh, definitely enjoy the game. Uh, it's it's not worth like driving three or four hours to find a Dave and Buster's to go play because it's like the most amazing thing ever. But you know, it's it's like if the, there's a Dave and Buster's near you or you're passing through one, you want to try the game out. It's it's definitely fun to play. So um, I'm gonna show off a lot of the gameplay footage here. I'm gonna shut up and just kind of let you guys enjoy it. Uh, a lot of the audio, of course, was recorded off my phone, so. Uh, a lot of lot of noise and stuff in the background, so you gotta gotta forgive that. Also, a uh, couple more things. Uh, we we're trying to clear memory off on our phone. It can only record in like certain time increments, so I've kind of tried to piece it together as best I can. It's not like one solid video. And also, most of the video uh, you'll see like the phone footage like kind of like up and down, uh, maybe a little shaky because. Not only am I recording this, but I'm also trying to play this one-handed at the same time and focus on what's on the screen. So my wife recorded a lot of it too, but at the same time, she also wanted to play. So, But it is what it is. Uh, definitely enjoy it, and let me know what you think down below in the comments, and I will see you guys later. Captain Keyes is placing the Pillar of Autumn in combat alert Alpha. All shock troop battalions are required to defend the ship from invading parties. You heard it, Fire Team Raven. Gear up! Major Silencer, we need your team to be ready for anything the Covenant might throw at us. It's payback time for the best team.